Let's test the new voice isolation feature in Final Cut Pro. Let's test the new voice isolation feature in Final Cut Pro. What? That's crazy. Apple recently added an amazing voice isolation feature in Final Cut Pro 10.6.2. And to be honest, I'm now using it on absolutely everything that needs some kind of noise reduction. It's that good. I mean, listen to this. Sometimes audio is just so noisy and it feels like there's no way to salvage it. But with Final Cut Pro's new voice isolation feature, you could probably still improve that audio. Isn't that just insane? Okay, so there are a few things I wanted to test with the voice isolation feature to see if the noise reduction would hold up in different scenarios. I wanted to test it with moderate background noise, loud background noise, in a crowded environment, in a space with lots of reverb, and in a windy environment. Let's go through each example one by one, and at the end, I'll play through all the examples back to back for you. So you've already heard the moderate background noise example at the beginning, but let me show you how easy it is to isolate the voice and remove the noise. You just need to select the clip, head over to the inspector window, click on the speaker icon, and over here you turn voice isolation on. That's literally all there is to it. It defaults to 50%, which is plenty for removing most moderate noise in my experience. Let's have another listen. Let's test the new voice isolation feature in Final Cut Pro. Can you hear that lawnmower? Well, not anymore. Now, you can obviously bump that percentage up if you need to, which we'll do in the next example. Let's take this clip where we have loads of background noise and traffic, and let's see how well the voice isolation feature does here at 75%. And we've arrived in Nice in the dark, which is not a problem because we can find dinner, we can walk the streets, and we've arrived in Nice in the dark, which is not a problem because we can find dinner, we can walk the streets. While it may not be perfect, that is really good. It took what is by all definitions extremely noisy audio and made it really usable. It should go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway, getting clean audio at the shoot is always better than trying to fix it in post. But sometimes we just don't have a choice and we have to make do with the audio that we have. At least with voice isolation, we can clean the audio up a little bit. Let's pump the amount to 100% to hear what it does. And we've arrived in Nice in the dark, which is not a problem because we can find dinner, we can walk the streets. And we've arrived in Nice in the dark, which is not a problem because we can find dinner, we can walk the streets. Okay, we're getting some weird artifacts there, but it's not too bad. I'd probably stick with around 50 to 75% for this clip, but if you were putting music underneath, you could probably get away with it at 100% because the music would kind of disguise some of those artifacts. And we've arrived in Nice in the dark, which is not a problem because we can find dinner, we can walk the streets. And we've arrived in Nice in the dark, which is not a problem because we can find dinner, we can walk the streets. Here's another example that I pushed to 100%. And we're currently on Charles Bridge. We've just walked across it now as our first uh, thing on the list this morning. And we're currently on Charles Bridge. We've just walked across it now as our first uh, thing on the list this morning. For this example, I have audio of two people having a conversation in a busy coffee shop. I can't show the visuals because this is a client project, but I can play the audio to you. Let's have a listen to the comparison. It's not a subscription, right? No. Nope. Yeah. created it's it once. Just, and it's just in built in a, in a spreadsheet that's available to pretty much anyone. And it's not a subscription, right? No. Nope. Yeah. created it, it once. Just, and it's just in built in a, in a spreadsheet that's available to pretty much anyone. To give you an idea of how the voice isolation feature compares to a third party noise reduction plugin, the third party plugin doesn't reduce the chatter in the background as much, and the audio starts to get these weird artifacts that make it sound over processed. It's not a subscription, right? No. Nope. Yeah. Created it's it once just, and it's just in built place. in a in a spreadsheet that's available to pretty much anyone. It's not a subscription, right? No. Nope. Yeah. Created it once just, and it's just in built place. in a in a spreadsheet that's available to pretty much anyone. Audio is half of the equation when it comes to a complete video, and people are more likely to click away from a video if the audio is not that great versus if the video quality is not that great. So it's important to make sure that your audio sounds good. If you want to learn more about that, I would highly recommend checking out some of the audio classes on Skillshare. Skillshare is the sponsor of this video, and I recently started watching Dan Dan Liu's class called Sound Editing for Video. Level up your audio in five steps. And it's so good. While the course isn't a Final Cut Pro course, 
it does cover the fundamentals of cleaning up and mixing dialogue so that your videos sound great. So you could use those principles in any editing application. If you didn't already know, Skillshare is an online learning community and it's a great place to learn new skills. You can find filmmaking classes, audio mixing, Final Cut Pro, and even YouTube marketing and SEO classes. There are a ton of great classes with new ones added each week. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. You can use that free month to check out my Final Cut Pro course on the basics of Final Cut Pro or to watch a bunch of filmmaking classes to help you improve your shooting and editing skills. I'm also currently working on a color grading course for Final Cut Pro, which is going to be super in depth. So if you join Skillshare, you'll be able to check that out when it launches. So I'd highly recommend grabbing that free month while you can. If you don't like Skillshare, you can cancel before the month is over with no commitments. But I think once you start learning on Skillshare, you'll be hooked like me. Let's apply voice isolation to this clip that I shot in a very reverberant bathroom and we'll set the voice isolation to 80%. You probably won't record in a bathroom very often, but if you do or you record in a room where there is a lot of reverb, you probably won't record in a bathroom very often, but if you do or you record in a room where there is a lot of reverb, audio from a room with a lot of echo and reverb can be a real nightmare to try and fix. And while the voice isolation feature doesn't make it perfect, it does an amazing job at removing some of the reverb and echo to make the voice stand out more clearly. There are a few processing artifacts, which is a pity, but again, adding some background music underneath could help to hide some of those artifacts. You probably won't record in a bathroom very often, but if you do or you record in a room where there is a lot of reverb, you probably won't record in a bathroom very often, but if you do or you record in a room where there is a lot of reverb, I left this example until the end because I'm the least optimistic about this one. If you've ever been to Cape Town, you'll know that it can be pretty windy. And that makes it difficult to vlog outdoors, and I don't think voice isolation can save us here, but let's see what happens. I'll turn it on and dial it up to 75%. Yeah, I didn't think so, at least not with such an extreme example. Let's try one with less wind noise. That lighthouse back there was built in 1919. It's one of the most powerful on the South African coast. That lighthouse back there was built in 1919. It's one of the most powerful on the South African coast. It doesn't really do what I hoped it would, but maybe that was a bit of a stretch to expect that. You'd probably get better results with a wind removal plugin or with a more directional mic. This was shot using the built-in mic on the GoPro Hero 7 Black. But if you absolutely had to use a clip like this, you could at least use voice isolation to reduce the wind a little bit. The voice isolation feature won't work on every single piece of audio, but it gives me really good results that are usable most of the time. Before I show you all of these examples back to back, don't forget that you need to be running Final Cut Pro 10.6.2 or later, as well as Mac OS Monterey 12.3 or later to have this feature. If you do need to upgrade, you'll want to watch this video on how to make sure that you upgrade correctly so that you don't experience any issues after upgrading Final Cut Pro. Thanks for watching and here are the examples. Let's test the new voice isolation feature in Final Cut Pro. Let's test the new voice isolation feature in Final Cut Pro. And we've arrived in Nice in the dark, which is not a problem because we can find dinner, we can walk the streets, and we've arrived in Nice in the dark, which is not a problem because we can find dinner, we can walk the streets, and we've arrived in Nice in the dark, which is not a problem because we can find dinner, we can walk the streets, and we're currently on Charles Bridge. We've just walked across it now as our first uh, thing on the list this morning. And we're currently on Charles Bridge. We've just walked across it now as our first uh, thing on the list this morning. You probably won't record in a bathroom very often, but if you do or you record in a room where there is a lot of reverb, you probably won't record in a bathroom very often, but if you do or you record in a room where there is a lot of reverb, That lighthouse back there was built in 1919. It's one of the most powerful on the South African coast. That lighthouse back there was built in 1919. It's one of the most powerful 
on the South African coast.